so it's just a little one. <laughs> Gail Dowis walks her dog with a weapon. I mean, I figure if I could pop it open, it might startle it. She only returns to the scene of the crime armed with her umbrella now that she says she's been stalked by a deer. I start walking and it's following us and walking faster and I mean, I'm really, I'm pulling Bodie, you know, let's go. And we're like jogging and the deer is jogging. Dozens of neighbors have reported similar problems. Deer getting too close or hurting smaller animals. One of her neighbors had to rush her dog Penny to the vet when she was stomped by a deer. Another told neighbor Christy Daniels his dog was killed. We are talking about innocent people walking their innocent dogs and being chased and attacked. Some people who live there don't buy it. Sharing this video of a deer they've named Daisy with her babies in the backyard. But for the people who have seen it firsthand, it's serious. I'm not trying to scare people. I'm not trying to say, let's go kill Bambi. I'm just, we want to spread the word and let people know that there is definitely something going on here and people need to be cautious. They need to be aware and they need to take precautions to protect themselves, their pets and their, and their families. A biologist with DNR told me over the phone, the deer in Peachtree City likely aren't scared of people anymore because they feed them. And when they get aggressive, it's because they're protecting their fawns, often born in June and July. But Gail says she's lived in Peachtree City for 14 fawn seasons, and this has never happened before. Well, it used to be I'd go walking, and it's like, oh, this is relaxing. And now, you know, I'm still doing the walks, but it's kind of nerve-wracking. Wow. Wow, how about that story? So are they looking for the aggressive deer? So DNR has actually taken a couple reports on what they think is the same deer, and they're tracking it. They said the last resort would be going in to intervene, but right now they are tracking how many times that deer has attacked. This is a story that we have covered now. Instead of using deer, how about coyotes? Right. I mean, mm -hmm. We have coyotes that aren't afraid of people sure. or afraid of dogs either. So you know what? There is an infusion of a lot of wild animals among us as our suburbs grow and grow and grow. Right. Absolutely. Right. I'm just yeah. glad they're sticking to eating my trees and yes. everyone else is safe. <laughs>